Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. Boy, oh boy, we have a lot to talk about and discuss in today's video because this time yesterday, Disney dropped a lot of brand new news coming from the Walt Disney Company in regards to Walt Disney World. And I'm shocked at some of these announcements because I did not think the Disney dining plan would be coming back this soon and then no more theme park reservations for the standard tickets. Is Disney finally getting a little desperate? Clearly, attendance is pretty low right now heading into the summer season. We have a lot to talk about. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. On Monday, May 8th, 2023, I went to my Instagram account. I started to scroll and one of the first things that did pop up was all of these announcements coming directly from Disney. I'm going to quickly read everything and break everything down and then I have a lot to say about all of these announcements. There's five updates coming in 2024 to make your visit even easier. The Disney dining plan is finally returning along with the removal of theme park reservations for day tickets. Disney Resort Hotel guests who purchase a vacation package starting with stays beginning on January 9th, 2024 will have the option to add the Disney Quick Service Dining Plan or the Disney Dining Plan to their package. The Disney Dining Plan is a way that you can prepay for your meals at Disney. The Quick Service Plan includes everyone in the travel party and will receive two Quick Service meals per night a snack slash non-alcoholic drink per night of the entire stay. Along with one resort refillable mug, meals and snacks can be redeemed at any time during your stay. The Disney dining plan includes everyone in the travel party will receive one table service meal per night, one quick service meal per night, and a snack slash non-alcoholic drink per night of the entire stay along with one resort refillable mug. Bookings for 2024 visits will open on May 31st, 2023, which is not that far away. Also, starting with park visits on January 9th, 2024, theme park reservations will no longer be required for date-based tickets. Date-based tickets are the standard theme park tickets that Disney offers. All other ticket types could still require a theme park reservation to manage crowds. Pass holders and cast members will still need a park reservation, but Disney finally announced the good to go days. Days when annual pass holders and cast members will not need a theme park reservation. While theme park reservations will continue to be required for select emission types, in 2024, Disney plans to offer select days on which annual pass holders and cast members may visit Walt Disney World theme parks without needing a park reservation. Good to go days may vary by park and pass blockout dates. We still have even more news here. Early theme park entry for all Disney Resort hotel guests and extended evening hours for guests staying at Disney Deluxe Resort hotels and Disney Deluxe Villas will continue through 2024. Finally, Disney is working on ways to help guests plan with Disney Genie Plus service and individual Lightning Lane selections before their visit so they can spend more time with friends and family in the park. Kind of like how the old FastPass Plus system used to be. Let me tell you, as I stated previously, I am just shocked that Disney is bringing back the Disney dining plan and from some of the conversations that I've been having with my sources and just people who would use the Disney dining plan, I've just been told that Disney really did not want to bring back the dining plan because they don't make much profit from the dining plan compared to when families just buy everything individually. Now keep in mind, the Disney dining plan has not been around since the shutdown in early March 2020. That's why I did say I feel like Disney is starting to get a little desperate. The fact that they are bringing back the Disney dining plan, this is huge news because this is going to possibly get those OG Disney fans that may have been boycotting the parks due to many different reasons and factors. Now you give them this big perk back, more people may be coming in 2024 
just for the Disney dining plan because the fact that you can just prepay for your meals and once you get down here, you really don't have to pay for anything. And that's why I do really enjoy cruising because you pay that price and then once you get on board, you really don't have to worry because everything is prepaid. And going back to the demand being so low, a few things I've been noticing here in the last few weeks, Disney has been throwing out some pretty good discounts for pass holders and Florida residents to stay at the Disney hotels, along with pretty good ticket offers. And then I've been noticing Disney Genie Plus hasn't really been too expensive. The last few visits has been around, I would say between 18 and $20. And not even a month ago, it was going for $30. But it gets even crazier. The fact that Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party tickets are now on sale. I went to Disney's website the other day and all of the party nights are still available. And that includes opening night and Halloween night. As of this recording, all party nights are still available. I just feel like Disney is hurting right now. They're desperate. Whatever they've been trying to do has not been working clearly. And I even talked about this in my Fort Wilderness video a few weeks ago, how I felt like Disney is just done with the original Disney fans. And it's crazy how times have changed in just a few weeks because all of this new news that just came out, clearly Disney is catering towards the original Disney fans because they always knew we love the Disney dining plan. We love not having any theme park reservations. We love to plan our vacation beforehand and not the morning of waking up at 7 a.m. So <laughs> it's nuts how times have changed in just a few weeks. And I would not be surprised if at some point during this year of 2023, if the demand don't go up and ticket sales don't go up, Disney may bring back the Magical Express in some form. And if they go to that point of bringing back the Magical Express service, that's how you know Disney is just, they're trying to get anybody that they can at this point. Because again, they know that caters to the original Disney fans. The fact that Disney announced that you can book your 2024 vacation starting on May 31st, and that's just in a few weeks, that just tells me, yeah, Disney is pretty desperate right now. I mean, that's my own personal opinion. Of course, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, start up a conversation. I am so curious to hear what you guys think about all of this news. And with that initial rush of people visiting Walt Disney World for that revenge travel, that period is now over and demand is down. And now Disney is trying to find other ways to bring more people back to their parks. The other thing that I wanted to discuss is the no theme park reservations for your day based ticket and that is your standard theme park ticket and that's the most common ticket that most people will purchase. I have always hated and I know hate is a strong word but I have hated that theme park reservation system. I know in the beginning it was needed, but I never thought it would actually last this long. I think all of the theme park reservations, they just need to go away. I really don't believe there's a need for it. Now it's starting to get very interesting because you now have the fact that Disney is starting to loosen their restrictions because we all know this theme park reservation system, it's just a way for Disney to control and manage the crowds. It is what it is. And now that you have Disney finally starting to let up with this theme park reservation system, I have hope. I do think this will not necessarily go away completely because I do think at the end of the day, Walt Disney World ticket sales are going to be like Disneyland ticket sales where you go to the website, you go to purchase your tickets, you have to pick which park you are going to start at. I just want park hopping to be back. I want to be able to park hop whenever I want. If I have the park hopper option on my pass or my ticket, I don't want to be restricted. And now for pass holders, we can come to the park after 2 p.m. with no park reservation needed other than Magic Kingdom on Saturdays and Sundays. That's a big step. But my thing, I just want park hopping to come back as what it was. And I just like having that flexibility of 
going wherever I want and wherever I feel like on that specific day. With the early morning entry for all Disney hotel guests and then the extended evening hours for guests staying at any of the deluxe Disney hotels, I don't really have much to say about that. I feel like if you're staying at any Walt Disney World hotel, you should be allowed both because at the end of the day, you are spending a lot of money to stay here at Disney and use their transportation and such. I think that really needs to be offered to everybody. I will say Disney, if you want ticket sales to go up, you need to offer more of the after hours events at all four Walt Disney World theme parks, especially Animal Kingdom, because that's one event that I've always wanted to do. I know they offered the after hours event at Animal Kingdom for a little bit before the shutdown and such. So I would really like that to come back and just have more events like over in Disneyland, like Star Wars night and such. As far as the update regarding the Disney Genie Plus service, I hope Disney will sit down and take the time and they need to understand the service and make it more appealing to a lot more guests because yes, it is nice to have on the busier days but it's not needed every day. So I just honestly feel like if Disney actually manages to allow people to plan their vacations 60 days or 90 days or 120 days before their trip, like how Fast Pass Plus used to be, if they figure out a way to make it remotely close to how that service was, I honestly just feel like they should incorporate that price into your price that you pay for a mission just like how Fast Pass Plus used to be. You can raise the ticket price all you want, but if I'm getting the Disney Genie Plus service in that price, I think a lot more people would be okay with paying more to have that service because nobody wants to wait in line. Also, Disney brought back the sales of new annual passes and as of this filming, all tiers are still available. Finally, the last thing that I would like to mention in today's video, I have been going to the parks a lot more on and off camera, and I have been having a better time at the parks, really because the parks haven't been too crazy and too busy lately, and I just feel like theme parks operate a lot better when they're not overpacked with people. But I have noticed all of the Disney rides need a lot of TLC. They've been pretty dirty. A lot of animatronics and just simple things have not been working. Don't get me started on Rise of the Resistance. I feel like that attraction just needs to be shut down for about three months and Disney needs to go in there and just fix everything because it's pretty pathetic. And it's just, it's just a little sad how the attractions have been looking here at Walt Disney World recently. I don't know what's going on, but they need to take a big look in the mirror and they need to figure out what's going on because the attractions have been having a lot of issues and that is causing backups for the guests that's in the parks during the day because rides will be shutting down a lot more due to maintenance issues. So hopefully that will be fixed and looked at. But that is all that I have to say in today's video. Please feel free to let me know down in the comments about everything I talked about in this video. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know your own personal thoughts and opinions. Also, for any of you who have used the Disney dining plan before, let me know how you like it. Like, does it bring that much value to your vacation? I'm very curious because personally, I've never used the Disney dining plan, but I think I'm going to once it returns. So I'm very curious to hear stories about the Disney dining plan. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out.